everyone if it's good to have you back welcome welcome to today's episode titled you are good enough today i'll be introducing you to different characters in sister daisy when i was younger i loved drama a lot and i still do Sometimes I may make different characters in my head and this year I wanted to share with you the different character in Sister Daisy. Today specifically I will introduce you to Sister Mata. Sister Mata, she's between the age of 20 and 30. You know, may the Lord bless you as a listen in Jesus name. Remember that you are good enough. And here comes Sister Mata. Oh, I know he can never, never fail. He will never, never fail. Nothing, never fail. He is him forever. God, I don't even know what is wrong with me. You know, to keep my friends is so hard. You know, I try all my best to fit in. It looks like I don't belong to this my you know group of friends that I have. You know, I try my best, but you know, it looks like whenever I have a friend that we get in closer, a boyfriend will come and take her away. And even when I have a male friend, you know, his girlfriend will come and take him away. So what's going on with me? You know I I, I know I love God, you know. And I want to get married too. Three of my friends got married last year. What is going on with me? Why can't I get married? And what is wrong with me? These our boyfriends, even when they come around, they don't stay that long. Am I that bad a person? Um, am I not beautiful enough? I believe I'm good I'm beautiful enough. Something is really off with me. You know. I've tried new things my friend has introduced me to even when I don't even want to do it against my parents which my you know sometimes I know that some some of them are not good I see you know when I don't do it God help me this year help me you know send me that right person that will love me for who I am and I believe you do it for me this year I'm so worried I'm 26 years old and I don't really want to go into next year without a bell. Shame will kill me. All my friends around me, they are married. I just need somebody, just even just an engagement, I'll take it. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. I feel like I'm here. It's my dream man. Oh God. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Welcome everyone to all the sister matter out there and to all the brothers, you know, that I'm, that might be going through the same thing as sister matter. I know that most brothers don't care at that age right now, you know, they have a goal, they stay focused, you know, they're trying to make life work, you know. But most of the younger ladies, you know, I've come across a lot and most of their worry at that age is, you know, getting married, how to fit in with group of friends, or maybe they are not good enough. I have a word of encouragement for you. Romans 5, 8 says, you know, but God showed his love for us in that while we are all sinners, Christ died for us. You know why he did all those things for us? Because he knows that you are good enough. Either you are single or married in any situation today that is making you to doubt yourself or you know you don't believe in yourself anymore I want to encourage you and tell you to believe again you know you are good enough um, leave behind your past that might be holding you back that might be making you think oh what is wrong with me didn't I do this right didn't I do this? don't do that Try and talk to yourself, you know, 
sit down and talk to yourself that you, and give yourself a positive affirmation you know oh i know i'm good enough i know i'm beautiful i know um i know you know this shall surely pass you know i know i'm an awesome person you know you know, pat yourself on the back speak affirmative words to yourself you know that you are good enough think positively of yourself do not think maybe anything is wrong with you believe me there is nothing wrong with you you know sometimes our mind likes to trick us into oh we oh, bad you know by being out negative stuff about us things that we might maybe we thought that oh maybe this is the reason i want to encourage you that you are good enough remember your strength remember that thing that you love to do remember the thing that gives you strength you know and let go of perfection sometimes you want to be perfect too you know want to do everything perfect oh i need to do this i need to do that so that the right person can come even those of us that are married sometimes want to be perfect at everything we do person like me oh yeah i'm working on that myself but the thing is let go of all these things you are good enough that is what I want you to know. You are beautiful and wonderfully created by God. Be grateful for your body. Be thankful for 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 the Lord that He created you and make you look this beautiful. You know, you are created in the image of God. So because you are created in the image of God, you have access to His power, His authority, His peace, His, his likeness, image, His holiness. So why are you worry? To the married women out there that are listening to me, I want you to know that you are beautiful in and out. You are perfectly made and you are good enough. You know, everybody might not see what you're going through right now, but the kids, they appreciate you. Your husband appreciates you. You might not say it much, but I want to encourage you that he does appreciate you. And so at those times that you are down, remember that you are good enough and the bible says in the book of philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that we can do all things who through him who strengthened us the love will strengthen you at this journey to your the married room all day and to all the singers that are listening to me the love will strengthen you to why you are waiting on the right person why you are waiting on your wife why you are waiting on your husband the love will strengthen you and today I will leave you with a message that we have learned from Sister Mata that we are good enough. You are awesome in everything you lay your hand and believe it. You are beautiful in and out. You are rare and you are priceless. And I will see you tomorrow, introducing you to another character. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>